I'm ready to eat. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah, fuck with me. Papa bless. Papa bless. Yo, what is going on, you guys? Back for another one. An original. A never been done before on this chan. The Papa, the PJ, Papa John, Papa Bless. If anybody watches H3H3, Ethan Klein, you know what Papa Bless is. Some of the fun, funniest shit. I love that meme. Uh, when they go to his house and then like the, the whole did he tip ya and all that shit. So good. Uh, okay, so here's the thing about Papa John's. I've had it twice. And both times it's never like blown my dick off. Like it's been just mediocre at best. Uh, just, I don't know, really not like the vibe. So I have a rule of three. I'll give a place three chances. And if after the third, uh, it's still trash, it's just getting x off my menu for the rest of my life. So Papa has a lot to live up to right now if, if they're going to get my money and, uh, you know, customership, if that's a word, ever again. Uh, so I have a medium three topping. I did a little half and half, a little splitsies on the topping. It's kind of a workaround. If you guys don't know about it, I'll tell you about it. Uh, and then also, it's like getting two pieces in one, you know? pizzas in one and also I have 10 wings here I got barbecue and then buffalo sauce on the side I have my dirty bottle of ranch fresh cracked brand new just cracked her not a single pour out of this big dirty bottle of uh, brisk iced tea my little tomato tomato mob ties napkin I'm ready to eat but we'll tuck that down below and we'll get to the show. First things first, let's have a look at these wings because you guys know that wings are my things. Buffalo sauce, boom, boom, boom. Nice, nice. Shout out, wrapped in the tin foil, keeping it fresh and hot. I can dig that. We'll put this off to the side. Maybe that'll be the boneyard. So we undo this tin foil hat for all the conspiracy theorists out there. And what do we have? Wings that are looking pretty solid. They're not, I think a lot of pizza, pizza places, why can't I say pizza, uh, are kind of, they're kind of trash when it comes to their wings. Like they always seem like really little and terrible and kind of hilarious, but these are looking actually pretty normal and legit. So let's, I'm just gonna rock these on the side. before my hands get too saucy. Crack into the buffalo. Mm, looking good, smelling good. And then let's go in for the main event. Da, 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 da. Yeah, nice, that's looking tight. So they give the pepperoncini, which I'm a fan of, and that's dripping. That can actually go all over my pizza as far as I'm concerned. That is delicious. And then the garlic sauce, of course, gotta have that. All running oozy, very, uh, very scary to work with because that is super like everywhere, running everywhere. And then the pizza, I don't know if I can really, how I can show you this. Oh, already spilling the garlic as I thought I would. Looking pretty bombs. Hopefully you guys can see that. So on one half I have pepperoni onion and banana peppers and on the other half i have mushroom green pepper and onions one last thing to do pour up this brisk what's that yeah hell yeah oh i'm gonna slam you oh i'm gonna slam you something about iced tea just i feel like i can chug it so fast like obviously because it's not carbonated but Anytime I buy like a can of iced tea from the store, I literally it's a one chug. Like it's and I'm it's done in like lit literally I don't know, ten seconds. Like it's just gone. She gone. Okay, I'm gonna let the wings cool down because I'm weird and I'd like my wings to like kind of come almost room tempy in a weird way. 
So that's my strange self. All right. Let's get to a slice. I'm going to go in for the banana pepper one immediately. I'm just going to go for this big boy. Okay, so off rip, the pizza looks pretty good. But the one thing is this. I asked for it to be well done. And this, to me, does not look well done. It looks almost soggy. Tasting nice on my uh, my hungover mouth. So I got the banana peppers. To be honest with you, they're not providing me any sort of spice level. I am liking the cheese quality. I like the bubbly of the cheese. Kind of Pizza Hut esque, if you will. And make a dipping pool there. Put some ranch on her. Mm. Nice. Let's try a little bit of this garlic sauce. I'm shakier than a motherfucker today. A little bit as I pour the whole thing. Garlic sauce is good. I just want to get this piece in me. And then I have a story time about gambling a casino. How I got shafted for money. But then took it all back plus more. Mm hmm. Delish. So last summer, my boys who were the musicians, they had a show. Um, in Niagara Falls. Come to think of it, I think it was for Canada Day. So, right around this time of year. Last year. And they were getting, like, hotels and shit for the night. Like, everything was, like, comped or whatever, because, you know what I mean, they're, the band or, and all that. So they were like, they're like, let's just bring a bunch of friends. Let's have, like, a friend trip down to Niagara Falls. Watch a show. Get turned up after, gamble a bit, you know what I mean? Go to the casino, have fun. Stay the night. So, we went down there, did that, went to the show, all that was legit. So before heading down, my one buddy is like gambling. He's like, he loves blackjack. Like he's just, he, once he's playing, he's like addicted. He just wants to keep playing, keep playing. Cause he knows strategy. He's like pretty like solid at blackjack. He knows what's up and he generally always wins. And so I didn't know the rules of blackjack and he was like, I'll just school you quick before we go down. It's really easy. I'll take, teach you basic strategy and then yeah, we'll go kill it. Like we'll just go crush in the, in the casino. So I'm sick. That's dope. So After the show, we go to the casino. We, we're playing. Da -da, whatever, we have our night. 
He goes up like a thousand. I was teeter tottering the whole time, up and down, up and down, up and down. And I ended up going down 200. I brought 200. I'm like, I'm willing to spend 200. So it's the next day. And everybody else is like, okay, hey, we're going back to Toronto. And me and him got the bug. And we didn't have anywhere to really be for the next few days. Him especially, because that's his job. He just does music gigs, and then after that, he's chilling. But for me, I didn't have to go to work or anything. So me, him, and his girlfriend, now wife, uh, we decide to stay another day just to play. And um, initially, he's like, yeah, let's just stay for the day, and then we'll head up on the bus tonight, like when we're done after or whatever. We'll see how long we play for so I'm like, okay, I want to redeem myself. I, I'm down 200. I want to be back up by the time I leave. And uh, he's up a thousand. So he lends me 200 bucks. He's like, just play with this. This is like my earning. My like, I'm up right now. If you got, just use this. If you go up, give it back to me. If you go down. We'll worry about it later. Figure it out. So we head in. And he hits the more expensive table. He hit the $25 hand table. I hit the $5 hand table. Because with 200 bucks, if you play the $25 table, like it just goes fast. If you don't, you know, if you win, don't win. And he was playing with like 800, you know what I mean? So so I roll up to the table. I had 200 bucks in my pocket. And I was like, I'm only going to put down 100. I'm going to put throw in 100 and start playing with 100. Try to never touch this other 100. Just come up off this 100. So I throw down my 100, dealer scoops it, pushes it down into the slot. Once it's in the slot, it's gone, it's done. That's it, you're in the game, that's your money. Dealer deals me out 80 bucks in chips. I'm like, the fuck? So I'm pissed. I'm like, okay, well, that's $20 missing of the 100 I dropped. And... I'm trying to get the dealer's attention, trying to tell him what just happened, how he like screwed me for 20 bucks. And I, I can't really get his attention. And I look to the right and on like a uh, little card right beside him, he said, this dealer is hard of hearing. So my dealer is basically deaf. And I'm trying to explain to my dealer that he just ripped me off for 20 bucks. So with Canadian money, American money has is paper. So it's like easy to tell with Canadian money, it's like this like synthetic, like almost plastic type money. And when it gets even a little bit of moisture in it, it like sticks together. So when the bills went on the table, it didn't fully spread and look like uh, five bills. It looked like four bills. So he keeps battling me that it was four bills. I'm like, no, man, I'm going to go to the camera, go to the eye in the sky. Like you just ripped me off for this money. Buffalo sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So I'm not going to like roll over on this. I'm like, call your pit boss. I want this left into. So slowly but surely this all comes together. Pit boss comes over, says he goes to the camera. I don't even believe he went to the camera, but eventually comes back and goes, It shows 80 from up there. I'm like, dude, I had 200 bucks in my pocket. I now only have $100 in my pocket. It was $100. They're like, 
Sucks for you, essentially. So I'm gonna pocket, start playing. Oh my god, it's so good. And okay, well, I uh, forgot to plug my mic in because I got a phone call halfway through this video and I took it and now I reset up to tell you the rest of the story and I realized that I just didn't plug my mic in. So this audio that you're hearing in the second half is going to be not that great. Anyways, so yeah, so I start playing and I shit you guys not, like, I did not miss a hand I did not take any L's it was www like constantly just every hand I was just winning 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 I was splitting doubling up winning 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 just bam 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 like crushing life and like through the whole time of that the pit boss kept like coming back to clear on and looking at my stack like watching it go up and just like I just kept shooting on these like glances being like what's up now bitch that's right like fucking step <laughs> Not really, like, not really, but yeah, I, I was, like, giving them, like, these looks, like, what's up now? Like, fuck out of here. You guys took me for shit and karma's coming back at you. And, uh, so everybody at the table was, like, actually stoked on me because they were, like, they, everybody knew, like, they, at the table saw, like, this whole, like, thing go down. Uh, and they were all, like, yeah, fuck that, that's whack, like, give this guy his 20 back and shit. So, for me to, like come up karmatically like that was was sick and everybody was like hyped even though everybody around me was like busting and doing shitty uh, i was just getting all the love and then at, at the end of it i was up nine i was like up at 980 in chips so i went up 900 bucks in like an hour and a half and when i decided to walk away from the table i uh I, I looked directly at the pit boss and was like, with all the stacks in my hand, and was like, I literally said right to his face, I'm like, karma's a bitch, right? And he just kind of like shrugged and like, kind of had like a, not like a laugh, but just like a. <laughs> so it was set. Dug myself out of the hole. I went up, a bunch of money. Went back home with essentially, you know, 700 bucks Felt good felt nice That revenge Nothing like sweet revenge Okay, I'm at the point where I have to talk about it Papa John's is getting 86 off my life menu. That's a no-go for me The wings They look They're like almost like rubbery and plasticky inside, if that makes any sense. Like they look really processed and fake and shitty. They got the jiggle to them. I've told you guys this in past video, like wing videos. I hate the jiggle. They got the jiggle, okay? Uh, also, the pizza is just like a six out of 10. Like it's just nothing to write home about. It's like the dough is just all right. Like it's nothing really that special. It's kind of airy and like, I don't know. I just don't really like it. The sauce is not that great. I don't really fuck with the sauce. The vegetables seem almost uncooked, if that makes any sense. Like, it's almost like they didn't get any time in the, in the oven, or it's maybe the way that it's layered. I'm not really sure. The banana peppers had essentially no flavor. The only thing this has going for it is the pepperoni's fine and the cheese is fine. But outside of that, it's pretty trash. So, All y'all Papa John lovers out there, I don't know what you're talking about. Is this shit right here? And then that. Uh, and no, 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 no. It's a no bueno for this guy. The brisk, killing it. Hidden Valley Ranch, crushing life. I mean, it's the only thing saving this. Hidden Valley, 
once again to the rescue for some subpar shit. Cause doing what it needs to do. So thank you, sir. I appreciate you. I really do. I was gonna wrap it up for me on this one, cause you know what I mean. It's whatever. The the story, telling the story, was more enjoyable than eating this. So until the next one, after this slam. I'm over this video. Until the next one, eat good, live well, stay true.